quickly work out multiples of square numbers. Let's remind ourselves what square numbers might look like. Here's our first square number, it's number 1. Our second square number is number 4, you could think of it as 2 by 2. Our third square number is 9, and you could think of that as 3 by 3. Our fourth square number is 16, and you could think of that as 4 by 4. So you can work out your square numbers by timesing the um, term of the square number that you're looking for. So if you're looking for the fifth square number, you do 5 times 5, which would give you 25. You might get into using some larger square numbers, and you can do that by multiplying both the numbers you've used to create your square number by a factor. And we'll look at the factor 10 today. So we'll start with our first square number, number 1. If we times both numbers that we've used to make our first square number by 10, 1 times 10 is 10, so we end up with 10 times 10. I'll draw this one out because um, it's the smallest one we'll deal with uh, after multiplying it by a factor of 10. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I have to excuse me, I'm not going to draw all the dots in. A bit pushed for time. But by the, if I had been a bit more careful, if I had put all the dots in, we'd have ended up with 100 dots, which is 10 times 10, which is another square number. 100 dots. This would work for all any square number that we generate. You can times both numbers by any factor. We'll use 10 to make our example nice and easy. So 2 times 10 is 20. So 20 times 20 is also a square number. That would be, um, well, 2 times 2 is 4. Add on the two zeros, which is 400. Let's just draw it. Four hundred dot, and that would be twenty by twenty. Not drawn to scale. Uh, three times three times ten. Three times ten is thirty. So um, thirty times thirty would also give us a square number. Three times three is nine. Add on the two zeros is nine hundred. So 30 by 30 will give us 3 times 3 is 9, and on the 2 zero is 900 dots. And finally, if we think about timesing our fourth square number, 16, or 4 by 4 by a factor of 10. would end up in a square number that looked something like this. 40 dots along one side, 40 dots along the other side, 4 times 4 is 16, add on the two zeros, 1600 dots, oh, I've used a different colour there, let's try and keep our colours the same, 1600 dots.